champs in LA, they are hungry to lift a trophy and put a positive full stop to 2023 and we are getting set now i get flashbacks every single time slightly different age and paul to in the past but they've already managed to isolate another vanity he needs to get some damage done and already leaving it on to just jake to try and clutch this one out first shot will go into the face of durka but nothing more to be had and very cause nice issues when it comes Versus his no! opponent in front of goal. He was sat at the Vipers pit trying to hold it down. But Halfers responded quickly at that. Maybe heard the Tiger of Leo and knew that one of the players would be isolated. But even that was a little bit far. Wow. Alpha though. Head spotted. They know where both players are at this point. And Alpha, his guardian has been filthy. He leaves the standing. Kari left in a one versus two. Time at least ticking in his favor. The tap onto the spike, attempting to reveal his position, but yet to be on it, yet to really get anything from it. He's not revealed his position. He's just waiting within this smoke and they will get on it within the last few seconds. It's definitely gonna be that little bit closer with how it has gone, but I think they've just about managed to get that over the line. Oh, and he's caught! Five oh, health for dear. Chronicle and it's enough. Alpha's picked up one, two, oh, almost the third. A good clap back by Jake, but not enough with the other Jake on the other side. That's one way to look at things. With Chronicle down, you're losing your utility that blocks out a lot of the control on Long. Alpha Air, though, has taken over control of Vuka. He's got a nice angle to play with, trapping these players inside the site, unless they want to risk a duel with this man, which they do. Might regret that a little bit later on. His second of the round. But the responsibility to hold on. They've lost, obviously, on the side of B, but the push is very much here. Oh. Hey, Curry's got them! Spikes the back down. turned. Okay. Two kills, but it might not be enough with Jake already so low. Inside of Lamson, allowing Vanity to come Spike into play. Planted. A flash Last in Vanity's back standing. pocket, but it won't get time to be used. In the corner. But Dirk has swung from further back. The pistol. Long. The second. Vanity and Oxy. It, it proved down. way too much to deal with for Zeta. Fanatic are a different beast, though. And already He's literally up. just sitting there. He's like, I will just keep spamming bullets into this wall until you are dead. You're not leaving. And there you go. Just sitting. And Alfie now with his third killed already. He has looked unstoppable over the last few rounds. Eight to six. Fnatic this time do manage to convert. I'd say a bit of there. In fact, it looks like Alpha might even be tempted to go through oh. the cage. He got lost. What? Still lands the headshot. He goes for the, the 180 flick. Durka ends another's life and, well, you are hoping for damage. I think the only orbs they've collected is the one on the ground and the one when the bullet hit them in the face. And now Jake left to try and face this 1v4. The shot on the first is nice for the pop flash. There is no hope here for C9. Right clicking. A mean punish on Chronicle as Alpha Yair looks for vengeance. Uh, a quick double kill. And they're right back in it. Both players relatively is underway, getting it half at least. Dead. And now Boaster looks to bait him into open combat. Tapping it again, letting him know it's already halved. And that got Jake's attention. It's going to be sat behind them. It's actually not cleared by the Prowler, but it has to be something in their minds. Oxy goes down. Look, killing off Leo already. Jake as well around the pit. Alpha still, though, is trying his damnedest. Looking for a little bit more, but the swing comes through and Zappa takes it across. Something that they probably spotted, but they're just going to try and man mark this one. It isn't working out too well for them. Nice shot for Curry. He's going to go for a little bit more, but now it's left all on to Zappa. Into that one versus one. It has to be peaked by Alpha. And he will keep Fnatic's utility. chance. They need to do it with weapons, and there's a judge inside, but luckily it's caught. Chronicle and Alpha quick on the trigger, and it comes down to just one man not even on the spike and caught as he tries to make it close. The slaughter. You can see nine are starting to claim ground. Chronicle's the first to fall. The wall bang from Vanity as he had the lineup ready to roll. He falls, but the site is still under threat. Not for much longer. Oh. Step up, headshot. And Jake is 45 HP, still having a grab well. That's the clock winning the round for Boaster. The only question is, can he make it away from that spike radius? The answer is a resounding yes. 12 to 8. Like we could be getting it unless C9 have an answer. And that answer doesn't look like it's coming as they are getting mowed down Zephyr again. Oh, this could be devastating for C9 on the rotation. 
you see oh. the knife out. They don't suspect there's going to be anyone nearly close by. A massive kill for Alpha Yair for the side of Fnatic with the Do advantage you know, now cemented. The ultimates, they've got nothing to play with. The push already coming in from behind them, but Alpha will have heard it. He's definitely heard everything that Oxy is doing. And a bit of an unorthodox position while well, it's an easy kill for Alpha. Zephyr's still just trying to fight for Alpha. He's throwing nanos in the spawn. Control. They lose another player. Their flank protection out of the round. No smokes, no entry. Sweat on that no. stage. He is peaked at the perfect time, oh, and it is fuck. looking like the beginning of the end. And nice. Chronicle and Leo to try and clutch this. Make it just Leo, but he's done it before, and he's looking to do it again. He oh. got the second, oh. and he gets all three! What on earth is that from Leo? The greatest clutcher this game has ever seen! He had no right! No right! It's not even the first time he's made it no. happen in this series! No. He does it again and again, just like Fnatic. He really does belong on this team, and this team belongs on top. One of the best teams in the world, back to do it again. They lifted a trophy in Tokyo earlier on in the year. They beat out the best in the world, and they just couldn't resist running it back <laughs> one more time. This time, though, putting on a bit more of a show. Oh, Five yeah. maps, and you have to command their opponents, Cloud9. An incredible matchup, an incredible job.